Hey everybody, this is Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Hey, can we talk for a minute? I mean, <laughs> one of the things that really irks me, and I am really, I am really trying to get better at it. I am. I'm trying to get better at it. Uh, what irks me so much is all the rumors and internet lies that get spread on Facebook. I see people quote people that never said those things. Uh, you know, graduation speeches, famous quotes, things like that. Uh, historical events that never took place, uh, brave heroes that charge in to rescue things, uh, those things don't take place. We, we see them and we want to believe that they're true. So why do we believe these things? Why do we believe internet rumors on Facebook? Why do we share them with our friends? Why are we so quick to just hit the share button and hit the like button without ever seeing if it's true? Well, because the truth is boring. Really, I mean, if the internet was just full of true things, I think we would stop sharing stuff because oftentimes the truth isn't as exciting as a lie. And we read these fantastic stories, we read these shocking things, we read these outrageous things, uh, or, or even inspirational things. And we just have this sense of urgency in us that says, I need to share this, I need to share this. But I think, I think, you know what, before, before you share that next news story, before you share that next uh, internet quote or that meme or that picture or that statistic, hey, check it out first. Check it out first and make sure that it's true because I bet you, I bet you it's not true. But what about a story that we have tons of proof for? What about a story that we have tons of evidence for? Mountains of evidence, eyewitness accounts, extra outside historical accounts, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the fact that a man lived, a man was publicly executed, and then three days later that man was seen by eyewitnesses, that story has more proof and more evidence to it than any other historical story ever. And yet, it's the story that we don't share. It's the story that we don't like on Facebook. It's the story that we don't tell and retell to others. In fact, you probably only hear the story of the resurrection once a year at Easter time. Why is that? I mean, here's a story that is fantastic. Here's a story that does sound like it's too good to be true. Here's a story that if you saw it anywhere else, you'd say, no way, I can't believe it. And yet, we don't share that story. Is it because in your heart you don't believe it? That you don't believe that it actually happened? That's the story we want to talk about this Sunday at Walden Church. The doctrine of the resurrection. We want to talk about the proof, the evidence that is out there that Jesus Christ lived and that he rose from the dead. It's going to be a great time together, a great discussion, a great morning of worship. Hey, we've got two opportunities for you every Sunday. We have a 9.30 service, which is our more traditional service. We sing hymns, we have a choir, and then we have an our 11 o'clock service, which has our contemporary worship team. And we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school. Hey, we want to be your local church. I'll see you guys Sunday.